Hello friends, this is lesson number 62 in the series of British Literature in English. Today, in this lesson, we shall consider Thomas Nash. In the last video, we discussed Robert Greene. So as you know that among the important university wits, in fact, there are three university wits from the University of Cambridge. The people are Christopher Marlowe, Thomas Nash and Robert Greene. So these were the university scholar and once it was a question in UGC net exam that they were asking that who were the university wits. So remember these three names Christopher Marlowe, Thomas Nash and Robert Greene from the University of Cambridge and from the University of uh, Oxford we have Lily Lodge Peel. Time and again we shall repeat these names so that these facts should stick in our memory. Anyway, Thomas Nash, he was born in the year 1567 and died 1601. So like Robert Greene, he also died so early. And he was involved in a controversy with Ben Johnson. Among the important playwrights of the Elizabethan age, if someone asks you, then we have two prominent names. The first, of course, that is William Shakespeare and the other one, that is Ben Jonson. So, in collaboration with Ben Jonson, Ben Jonson and Thomas Nash, they collectively wrote a play and the name of that play is Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs. Here, Isle means island. So it could be a place somewhere in London which is termed as Isle of Dog. And what was the controversy that it was somewhat hurting the political authorities. And once as it was performed first time on the stage in Swan Theatre. After that the content was suppressed and Ben Johnson was jailed for writing this play. And for Thomas Nash his house was raided and all the papers were sealed yet he managed to escape from the country and he settled somewhere in the southern part of England in Yarmouth anyway so remember that there was a play written by Thomas Nash and Ben Johnson that is Isle of Dogs we shall talk about this play a bit more when we consider Ben Johnson but for now remember one more fact, Thomas Nash wrote one more play in collaboration with Christopher Marlowe. Now try to recall when we were discussing Christopher Marlowe, I told you there was a play, the name is Dido, Queen of Carthage. So in collaboration with Christopher Marlowe, we have this play. So remember these two important plays. Now we take his important works. The first Summer's Last Will and Testament Summer's Last Will and Testament It was a comedy, so a comic play and it is said that before this play there was no such a qualitative comedy in English literature or in English drama because it was highly flourished with intellectual content. We shall pretty soon find out that how it has that qualitative intellectual content but first remember it was considered among the foremost of the comic plays of intellectual content and one more thing in the plays when we were discussing about the beginning of the plays I told you there is a one more form of play that is interlude when you have a longer play or you have several plays performed on the stage there used to be a break as these days we have for advertisement and in that break some sort of a, another shorter play was performed so that is called as interlude that play has not that much significance neither the content wise not the length wise that was quite small as you can imagine low for three four five minutes and only to provide a comic relief to the audience so that was interlude and after interlude in the 16th century it was interlude and in this in the 17th century we have mask 
mask is also the same sort of a you can say short little play that is performed for entertainment and uh, with music there are several actors also performing dancing only to provide a relief to the audience a comic relief so from interlude to mask if is there any play that was connecting then that was the play summer's last will and testament again i am saying that interlude were introduced in the 16th century and mask we see in the 17th century and both these terms of literature were connected through this play you can say that this play was connecting interlude with the mask from the timeline we see first came the interlude then we have in 17th century mask and between there were several plays and important play among them is that summer's last will and testament now about the plot in this play we have the personification of the four seasons which are the four seasons summer autumn winter and spring and summer season is termed as the king of the world and now summer is old and declining and this season makes his last will pretty simple so summer season is old and now this season is making its last will and all the officers political members of the kingdom are summoned and there we have some sort of a pastoral enjoyment some satires some you can say nymphs uh, reapers maids clowns everybody is there and there is a, some sort of a entertainment and there are a few words of wisdom as well so now you should remember that the summer's last will and testament is written by thomas nash there are several facts uh, related to this play the first that in this play we have summer and there can be a metaphoric meaning or double meaning to this word first it is associated with the season summer and the second will summer remember this name will summer this is also the name of a clown clown joker in the kingdom of king henry the 8th so in his parliament or in his court there was a clown and the name is will summer so this play might be addressing that clown indirectly the second it contains a poem within in this play there is a poem the name is adieu farewell earth's bliss adieu farewell earth's bliss and in that poem there is a line brightness falls from the air brightness falls from the air queens have died young and fair so just try to go through this line once or twice and that's enough don't try to mug up such lines okay these are important ones but there is no point that we should keep spending time on these lines just go through them once or twice now after this we have another play by him that is unfortunate traveler i remember this name because when i was appearing in ugc net exam for the first time there was a question that uh, unfortunate traveler who has written this and it is written by thomas nash unfortunate traveler and the title character of this play is jack wilton try to remember written by thomas nash and the central character is jack wilton it was termed as a first picaresque novel and that was published in the year 1594 so remember this play talks about the adventures or the traveling of the character jack wilton in picaresque novel we generally have a person who comes from the down to earth life from the ground level he is a rising a roguish person not always good having some sort of a bad qualities as well so that is the central character or the hero of the play and this character jack wilton he travels to the country like germany italy and he witness some of the important historic events and by the time as it is the quality of the picaresque character that this character jack wilton develops so much within himself that he established himself as a strong character 
so that's it for this lesson in this lesson we discussed prominently in the beginning that there was some sort of a controversy when Thomas Nash wrote a play with Ben Johnson that is Isle of Dogs and for that they faced some sort of uh, restrictions even Ben Johnson was jailed for writing such play and all the copies were suppressed and it was performed in the theater that is Swan Swan theater and then we have his first major work that is Summer's Last Will and Testament and that is a famous comedy and in that we have the personification of the four seasons and which season is the king of the world that is summer so this season is getting old and now declining and this season has decided that it should pass his last will and in the end in this play there is a enjoyment celebrations and uh, and this play contains a poem within and the name of the poem is adieu farewell earth's bliss adieu farewell earth's bliss and one more thing the character summer has a double meaning and one more character in the history we see that is will summer a clown in the court of king henry the eighth and after that we had the last novel by him that is very important unfortunate traveler remember written by thomas nash and the central character is jack wilton and there were two questions which i mentioned in the beginning as well the first is of the university wits among the university wits we have the names like robert green christopher marlowe and thomas nash from the university of cambridge and the other question was related to unfortunate traveler written by thomas nash and the central character the narrator is jack wilton so that's all for this lesson in the next lesson we shall consider another university wit Thanks a lot for watching this lesson and have a great day.